Hey, I'm Ryan Johnson. I'm going to talk to you about the S13 Shrike today. When I first started designing the Shrike, it was going to be like the Eagle Talon. It's going to be 18 inches long. And uh, what we figured out once we started prototyping them, that it was, it was actually kind of cumbersome uh, for the Shrike style design. So we started shortening it up, and we shortened it to what you see as the Shrike today. Uh, it wasn't long after we made the Shrike that we had guys uh, getting in touch with us and saying, hey, we're getting in and out of vehicles a lot. Uh, we love the Shrike, but could you shorten it up a few inches uh, to make it easier uh, for us getting in and out of uh, the, the car? And um, so we did. We shortened it up a few inches and came up with the S13. Um, it's exactly like the Shrike in every other way. Uh, you've got a billet machined head. Uh, the tang goes down into this over-molded handle. You've got a small air gap right here. Uh, and then the end cap is 4140 pre-hard uh, steel or hardened alloy steel. The air gap makes it to where this handle, this over-molded handle, is shock resistant. So you can cut into live wire. You can uh, not um, have a bad day. Uh, and it's rated up to 3,000 volts uh, submersion tested. The uh, over-molded handle also makes it to where when I'm hitting into hard stuff, if you're breaching into a steel door or something like that, it absorbs a lot of shock that doesn't translate to your elbow. Um, the S13 is probably the uh, most popular choice when it comes to people carrying these and kicking indoors for a living. Uh, because of the compact size, you can throw it on a vest, you can throw it on a weapon sling, and, and it gets uh, out of the way pretty quickly. Um, to me, the Shrike is the, the, the peak of our design. Um, it is the culmination of all the Tomahawk stuff that we had done in the past. All the feedback we got back from the field went into the Shrike, and uh, every batch, it just seems to get better and better. 